hi guys good day welcome to today on princess anu tv just in case you're new here on this channel we talk about aviation motivation and adventure and today we want to quickly talk about approach chart index numbers and what i mean by approach chart index numbers just in case <laughs> you are about to enter flight school and you're wondering what i'm talking about is this box here the approach chart uh, index number one talk about what does this one two dash one mean because it's not the same just in case you are in flight school too you need to know this and in fact you need to know every single thing on the approach chart because you can go anywhere and you can be asked what is this what is this or they can ask you what does india papa charlie mean or what does this uh it is mean or what does he do and all that and in fact i remember going for an interview and they asked me to give an approach briefing they gave me a chart that's a, a pilot interview they gave me a chart and they said i should see what it means but we're not talking about the full approach chart now we are just going to talk about this index number you can see for this chart this is uh port Arcot, nigeria and you can see the airport identifier this showing us port Arcot here and uh you can see this chart this one has one a so we're going to go uh let's pick another let's pick uh okay let's pick lagos i'm going to use lagos to quickly show you some things i think it's more uh well, i say not too complicated uh for easy understanding for us so first things is that when you pick a chart like i said we're not going into the whole chart today but when you pick a chart you need to look at the chart dates so that you know whether that chart is current or not like you can see this one is 29 september 2023 and effective from 5th october so you don't start using it from 29 september you actually start using it from 5th of october but the, the thing is this chart is even outdated because there's obviously a 2024 uh, chart this is this one is not updated you can see anytime you look at your charts and you see this that means you need to do an update so this particular um not supposed to log the device this particular one needs updates but uh, this is not the active one i'm using for now because this is still uh jepson jepson is out now four flights is what everybody's using okay let's go straight to the chat index like we talk about but in case you have not subscribed please do me a favor subscribe and like this video if it's you are interested in things aviation and motivation adventure thank you so if you look at lagos very well you can see that we have different charts you can see we have the view rilsdme you can see all the charts here so now let's look at this index number in respect to this chart all charts here in nigeria uh will start with this um one which is the airport number in one city but now the second one which is something you have to bear like look at very well only ILS, you can see this view RDME ILS, only ILS has this one here. Now let's go to RNAV. RNAV has two. So wherever you see a chart that has one, two, you know that that chart is an RNAV chart. Two in specific, like two in particular, that's RNAV. Now view RDME is not going to have this two. Let's check it out. You can see that this one has three so vr chart approach charts always have three on their index number so you can just pick a chart and know exactly even without looking you know exactly what that chart is for and there are other ones here like lagos doesn't have uh lagos doesn't have the ndb because ndb here will have six yes ndb here is going to have six and um uh, there are other ones but these ones are the most popular you have the vr you have the vr dme ils or localizer or will always have one or mls will have one gls will have one then vr dme don't forget vr will have three let's look at another airport so that we can confirm this thing i'm telling you let's look at kaduna so uh kaduna here you can see three already and when you see three you know that this is a vor chart approach chart 
view rdme it doesn't have ils with it if you're looking for the one that has ils you will definitely see a one one dash maybe here one or two depending so let's go to the approach charts and check for ils and see what it has i've used this chart a lot that's why you're seeing my markings here so you can see that the ils has one one here so these are the things that you should look out for and you should know them now let's go to this dash and the other one the the dash with the one is telling you the sequence of of uh the the charts like how many sequences does this have so this is um this is for kaduna and this is runway zero five we are going to see runway zero runway two three is going to have two so you see zero five has one here and runway two three has two here so the same thing let's look at lagos again as our example lagos we come here and we see dash one right that's for one eight left uh let me let me bring my uh ipad a little here you can see one eight left is showing this now if we go to um let's look at let's look at uh one eight right one eight right is showing two you see one eight left is one why one eight right is two so these are uh, okay this is iron uh, iron nav you can see iron nav when you look at iron nav it always has two here so you don't need to even look straight at the chart once you see this index number you know what the chart is about so just in case you've been finding difficult to interpret some things on the chart i'll try as much as possible to be to break it down and even prop and even most likely even do a approach briefing so that you can uh, understand so uh guys these are just a few things i want to drop with you today and until we see you next time on the same channel if you've not subscribed please subscribe catch you later bye